Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I mentioned secret in the title, not clickbait. All right, I really have something that I was like, should I share this or should I keep it to myself? And I'm like, I'm gonna share it. Of course, I share everything with you guys. So um, I had a listing on eBay. I had it listed on Mercari and it's kind of been sitting and I've been getting all kinds of messages from people on Mercari saying, I just want one doll. And I'm like, well, I don't want to list them separately. Like, how much could I really get for one doll? And I'm like, well, what would you give me for one doll? And they're like, $7 with free shipping. And I'm like, no, like, I'm not going to tear apart a $15 lot for $7 with free shipping minus fees minus what I paid for the item. It's just not worth it. And then I thought after I got, I don't know, probably five to 10 different messages asking for different dolls from this lot. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to separate them. I'm going to put my price on them where I think that I could make a little money and still be happy and just kind of see where it goes. It's kind of going to be a test and it was a success. So I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm also going to share with you what sold on Mercari for the week, second week of lockdown. Um, I just did my video of eBay and Poshmark, what sold the first week of, um, or I'm sorry, the second week of lockdown. And I'm doing these a little bit differently. I'm showing you everything that I sold just because I kind of want to um, give you guys an idea of how things are a little bit different right now with everything that's going on. But um, I sold an item auction style for over $400. So go check out that video if you wanna see what it is. All right, so I'm going to show you a few items that I sold on Mercari. Every item was a toy. Every item was a toy. Toys sell on Mercari. Um, and then I'm going to show you my little secret of what I did. It's not really a secret, but I guess I could call it a trick or a tip that I kind of caught myself off guard and learned by just trying something new. And I'm so glad I did because Garage sale season this summer. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be looking for. All right, let's look. All right. Um, this is not the secret. This is just a bolo. This Shopkins. Oh, let me make sure. Did I put it on screen share? I did not. Ooh, I'm glad I checked. You guys would have just seen my face for 10 minutes and then I would have been like, oh no, I got to do the video over. Okay. So this Shopkins items. These are Shopkins Happy Family Playset Lot. And they're just like little Shopkins, like there's a bed, a little like a stove with the accessories. And some of these are hard to find. I picked these up at a garage sale. And you can see like there's little, um, like little teeny ones. I don't know what those are, but there's a toilet. They're so fun. I mean, they're super fun. They're super cute. Um, garage sale, it was a bulk buy. So I probably got this for a couple bucks. And I sold it for $45 and I did offer free shipping on this. Most of my items on Mercari, I do um, build the shipping into the price and then I offer free shipping and I ship my items from Pirate Ship. The next item I sold was this um, Ideal Toys doll. I wasn't sure if this was Tammy or who it was. So I just put Ideal Toys doll and she sold within a day for $19 and free shipping. Maybe I underpriced her. I don't know. She had three likes. Um, but sold in a day. I got her at a garage sale in a bulk buy of Barbies and uh, stuff like this. And so I had less than a buck in her. So I was happy with that. The next item is this vintage Sun Gold Malibu Skipper. Um, I had quite a few of these. This one sold again within a day for $17 and free shipping. I think I had an offer within an hour. And, um, I think I accepted it the next day because I wanted to see if anything else came in overnight and she had five watchers. So yeah. And she's in pretty good condition. I mean, her hair is still pretty nice and, um, $17 free shipping. Again, I may have undersold it, but I had less than a buck in her. This ballerina Mattel Barbie doll, again, same lot as those other two dolls, less than a buck. And I sold her for $17 with free shipping. All right. Are you ready? Here's my secret. 
this lot I had listed for $88. I had it for a hundred, but I was running a 12% off sale. So $88 and the buyer paid shipping on eBay. Now I think on Mercari, I had it for a hundred dollars with free shipping, but you can see I had all these Bratz dolls and everybody's like, I just want the fourth one over in the silver outfit, or I just want the cheerleader, or I want the one with the angel shirt. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't want to separate them. And they're like, well, you could just put it, an X through the one that sold. And I'm like, yeah, but then I got to change the listing. And basically I was just too lazy to do it. And it's been listed for a while. And I just kept getting these people on Mercari, not eBay, on Mercari asking me to do this. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take the time and I'm just going to separate them. And basically I took each doll and I listed it separately on Mercari and then I cross posted them to eBay. They are selling faster on Mercari. So I have sold within like an hour. Uh, I think two of them sold within an hour and the one had sold the next day. So I sold three super fast. So the first one I sold is this one. I thought since they didn't have clothes and you know, they are from 2001 but they don't have any clothes. So I didn't think that they had that much value individually, but I was like, you know what? I'll slap $15 with free shipping and just see what happens. This one sold super fast. This one sold for 14 with free shipping. She had some like weird stuff on her scalp right here. I don't know if they like put baby powder on it or what, but I, I did list her a little bit lower for that reason. Um, maybe it's paint. I have no idea, but these were in played with conditions. So $14, um, free shipping. So basically what it costs me is 10% goes to Mercari. And then it costs me about $3 and 50 cents to ship. And I have less than a dollar in each item. So I'm looking at between eight and $12 profit on each one of these dolls. This one sold for 18 with free shipping. So already I've made over $30 on just three of the dolls. That's profit, guys. And I had it listed for $88 and the buyer paid shipping, but eBay fees are a little more. And there's 15 dolls. So if I can average $10 profit per doll, that's going to be $150. And some of them, like this, this wrestling girl, I have her listed for like 20 something. She's a boxer, not a wrestler a boxer. And then I also have this little soccer chick listed a little bit higher because, you know, she's got the complete outfit. And I think I have the little silver outfit a little higher. And, you know, these down here are naked. So anyway, they're from 2001. So definitely be on the lookout for brats. These are bread and butter items, not going to be like huge, huge money, but I pick these, all of these up, I think for like five to $7 for all of them. So you know, what's that make like 50 cents a doll, maybe less, less than 50 cents a doll. So definitely be on the lookout. Great items to pick up at garage sales and even the naked ones sell guys. All right. The ne next item, I took this lot apart. Also, I'm like, okay, I'm doing the brats. I might as well do my monster high dolls. So I went ahead and I separated them out. There's 10 dolls in the lot. So I listed them individually. I think this one's an ever after high doll, this one on the end. And then this second one is still in really, the, the next two really have their complete outfits and are still in pretty good shape. So I listed those a little bit higher. But again, I've got this for $61 on eBay with free shipping. So I, or I'm sorry, with the buyer paying shipping, I removed that listing and I listed them in my Mercari store. And then I went in and cross posted them with list perfectly over to my eBay store, which is super easy. So if you have items on Mercari, you can cross post them to eBay from list perfect or with list perfectly. Super easy, almost easier than going from eBay to Mercari. So definitely check out list perfectly. If you have not, there's a link down in the description of um, this video. If you guys want to see how it works, I walk you through how to list. Um, on list perfectly. It's definitely worth every penny in my opinion. It saves so much time. I love it. Um, there is a coupon code in my, my video, my tutorial, like how to video of how to use it. 
it's 30% off your first month. So try it for a month, see what you think. Um, but yeah, that coupon's in the description of that video. Okay, so I already sold this one. And again, she's naked. She's got these hearts on her hand. I don't know if she's like a harder to find one. Her hair's in pretty good shape. Um, I mean, it needs maybe brushed out a little. I don't know. I didn't brush their hair or clean them up. I just listed them as is. Um, I did put messy hair. And this sold for $14 and free shipping. So again, I probably made like eight or nine bucks on this doll. Here's another bolo. I picked these up at the same garage sale that I got these. Again, I probably had a couple bucks in all of them. I sold them for $48 and the buyer paid shipping. So toys are hot during lockdown because people want stuff to entertain their kids. So the next thing I did is I took apart this mixed lot of 28 Barbies and Disney princesses and I listed those separately on um, Mercari also. Um, I did do small lots of some of them, but some of them like this, uh, I think his name's John Smith and Pocahontas and the Mulan. I did list those separately and I'll, I'll go into my store and show you guys here. So this is my Mercari closet. So you can see I have listed each one of these dolls. Like some of them are lots of two, you know, there's a uh, five here. Uh, you can see here are the ones that have sold. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes. I did have some really quick sales. This one, somebody made me an offer. So I took a 12% discount on that one. So it sold for 14. Um, here's some more that I have listed. That one sold and that one sold. And those are the ones I showed you guys. So yeah, I mean, not too shabby if you can pick a doll up for 50 cents and sell it for 15 and make a profit of like eight to $10. To me, I'm, I'm good with that. So I've got this one listed for 20, this one for 27, this one for 22. And those are like the higher, higher dollar ones. I've been a little busy bee. Um, I listed some of this stuff today and last night, but here's some more of the dolls. Um, and this one sold for full asking. They didn't even make me an offer. So yeah, this one I've got, um, this is a larger lot that I kept together. It's nine skipper dolls. Um, and I've got $90 in free shipping on this. I didn't, I just didn't feel like separating them out. I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to say, Hey, will you sell me the fourth one over? And you know what, if they ask me that, I may just think about it given, um, what I've learned from this experience. But, um, for now I'm just going to leave it as is. And again, everything is cross posted to eBay. So both items are in eBay and Mercari so far. With the dolls, I'm doing better on Mercari. So if you guys have a lot of Barbies or Bratz and stuff on eBay, you may consider um, transferring some of those to Mercari and just see if you can make the sale. Um, eBay, I charge shipping to the buyer. Mercari, I increase the price of the item and do free shipping because Mercari only takes 10% and then I ship using Pirate Ship. So what do you guys think? Do you like my secret? I don't know. It kind of happened by accident, you know, and it's working out. And I don't know. I, I sold three in 24 hours of the Bratz dolls. To me, I'm like, that is crazy. Like they sold like that. And again, people are buying toys right now. So maybe that has something to do with it. But this is what sold on Mercari week two of lockdown. Every single item was a toy. And I have lots of stuff on Mercari. And every single item was a toy. So if I were you, and you have toys, get those toys listed. I love sourcing for toys at garage sales. It's one of my favorite things to sell. And a lot of people skip over them because they're bread and butter. But um, I don't know, I like them. They're easy to list and fun to sell. So for those of you that have kids and you guys are at home and you're just hanging out because there's no school, maybe you can talk your kids into selling some of their toys. I don't know, everybody's looking for inventory because you can't go out and source. <gasps> Ask your kids, hey, can I sell that Bratz doll? I'll give you half the money. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think outside the box because I know everybody's looking for inventory. 
All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about my tip or my trick or my secret, whatever you want to call it. Comment below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys real soon.